Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Python tutorial series. In previous episodes, after having introduced the matplotlib library, we looked at how to generate scatter plots, line charts, bar charts and pie charts. I'll leave a link to these videos in the top right hand corner of your screen and in the video description. You can also find a link to my first Q&A session where I explain how to correctly understand scatter plots and pie charts. Today we will expand our knowledge of matplotlib and learn how to produce 3D graphs such as surface plots, contour plots and wireframes. But in order to do this we must first introduce a new function which is included in the NumPy library, MeshGrid. To understand the NumPy mesh grid function, we can take a standard 2D plot. In this case, we have an array containing the x axis values and a second array containing the y axis values. Each point on the grid can therefore be represented by a pair of coordinates. What the mesh grid function does is it takes the x and y arrays and combines them together in order to explicitly define each point on the grid. In particular, it defines the x and y coordinates of the points of each row in turn. Let's look at an example to make things easier to understand. If we have three values on each of the x and y axes, say the values 0, 0.5 and 1, we can mesh these together and produce two new arrays. As you can see, the X array now contains the X coordinates of every point in every row. Similarly, the new Y array contains the Y coordinate of each point in each row. So the points on the first row, or in other words, the X axis, will have coordinates 0, 0, 0 0.5, 0, and 1, 0. Similarly, the points of the second row will have coordinates 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 1, 0 0.5. The same approach holds also true for the third row, in which the y coordinate is equal to 1. Now that we've seen how NumPy mesh grid works, let's learn how to produce 3D graphs using matplotlib. As you can see, I have already defined two arrays. These are equivalent to the 2D X and Y arrays I showed you earlier. Now we have to use NumPy mesh grid to produce our combined arrays, which we can call uppercase X and uppercase Y. And we can say that these are equal to numpy.meshgrid of X, Y. As you know, in 3D plots, the x and y axes form the base plane of the graph, while the z axis forms the vertical component of the graph. So in the same way that we have an x and y array, we also need a z array to fully define the points we want to plot in 3D space. We can obtain the z array easily by writing z equals x times y cubed minus y times x cubed. Now don't worry if this equation looks a little complicated. I only use it because it produces a nice graph, but you can use any equation you like as long as it correlates the z-coordinates to the x and y-coordinates. Now that we have our x, y and z arrays, we can produce our first graph, known as a surface plot. We can do this quite easily by writing fig equals plt dot figure. And then we can say ax equals plt dot axes with projection equals 3D. Then we can say ax dot plot surface of x 
y and z. We can also add in another command called cmap equals viridis. Finally, we can say plt.show. Now, don't worry if this syntax is slightly different to what we are used to when dealing with 2D plots. This is simply required to indicate that the axes of the plot should be projected into 3D space rather than on a 2D plane. As usual, if we run our code by pressing the F5 key, we can produce our first 3D plot. As you can see, the plot has also been coloured on the basis of how large our z-coordinates are. The higher the z-coordinate, the closer we get to green, whereas the smaller the z-value, the closer we get to blue. In case you were wondering, this colouring can indeed be changed. We will look at how to do this in next week's episode, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Now, to produce a contour plot, we simply substitute the plot surface command on line 15 with this command contour of x, y, z, 40. Again, by pressing the F5 key, we now get a contour plot. This plot, as you can see, helps to simplify the surface we saw before into individual contour lines. Finally, if we change the same line again, we can write ax.plot wireframe of x, y and z. Now, when we generate our graph, we get a wireframe plot, which, as the name suggests, simplifies our surface down to a single colour mesh. Now I'm sure you're anxious to explore 3D plots using Matplotlib on your own, so we will end today's tutorial here. Next week we will look at some new types of 3D plots, as well as some tricks we can use when plotting in 3D using Matplotlib. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, make sure to like this video share it with your friends, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you next week in our final tutorial on Matplotlib. As usual, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. If you missed any of my previous tutorials, make sure to check them out by clicking on the banner in the top right hand corner of your screen, or on the links in the video description. See you next time! And until then, happy coding!